In this video, I'm going to go over the molecular machine known as the mitochondrial ribosome, or mitoribosome for short. We'll cover the structure and function of this molecular machine, but first let's talk about your body. Your body is composed of billions of def different cells that perform a variety of different functions. But how do your cells know how to perform their functions? Each cell contains instructions in a molecule known as deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA for short. DNA is made up of four different building blocks known as nucleotides. These nucleotides encode for the function of each cell and act as an instruction manual for your body. However, your ribosomes, the protein that makes proteins, can't read the instruction manual right away. Instead, your cells need to turn the manual into a language that the ribosomes can understand. Transcription is a process that converts the instructions of the DNA into the readable messenger RNA, or mRNA for short, using an enzyme called RNA polymerase. Once the DNA has been transcribed into the readable language of mRNA, the mRNA leaves the nucleus and enters the cytoplasm. Here, the mRNA is inserted into the ribosome that can use the instructions to create different proteins to fulfill each cell's functions. This process is known as translation. This machine is called the ribosome. The ribosome is composed of two main parts, a large subunit and a small subunit. The mRNA binds to the ribosome at the ribosome binding site. And when the ribosome detects the start codon, or AUG, on the mRNA, other types of RNA called transfer RNA or tRNA get placed into what is called the A side of the ribosome. These tRNA are attached to the amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins. tRNA is then shifted to the P site, where the amino acids that reside on the tRNA are attached together. The tRNA is then shifted to the E site, where it leaves the ribosome. Here you're looking at an example of a protein, which is the end product of linking amino acids together. So there are ribosomes not only in the cytoplasm, but also in the mitochondria. These ribosomes are called mitoribosomes, as we discussed earlier, and they look like this. These ribosomes are different from the cytoplasmic ribosomes because they are in charge of creating proteins specifically for the mitochondria. The mitochondria is known as the powerhouse of the cell because they're involved in releasing energy from food that's consumed. This process is otherwise known as cellular respiration. So mitoribosomes can create 13 essential proteins that are important for the process of oxidative phosphorylation in a pathway where cells use enzymes to release energy to create ATP. If the ribosome or mitoribosome fails to complete this function, then the cells can't read their instruction manual and they begin to fail. I hope this has been helpful and thanks for watching.